this performance? Uh, I think it was a great learning experience for a lot of young guys. And uh, we got a chance to play a lot of players and um, just improve from, from last weekend, what it, week before that game, and, uh, just try to keep improving. How did you feel about the pressure y'all were able to provide? The pressure? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I think we um, tried to just just do our do do our job as a defense and like just play coach play coach's uh system and uh just get after them guys. It seemed like their offensive line was trying to get chippy from you with the first from the, from the first play. Did you notice that and how did you able to keep it from? Um yeah, but I mean you just play within the play, so you can't worry about nothing that that happened outside of play. Coach Saban said that I mean they were obviously trying to throw the ball really quick. They were yeah. going down. What do you guys do to try to get pressure even when you know the quarterback's gonna be rid of the ball in one or two seconds? Uh, when they throwing the ball quick, we just try to like more of a like a a power rush and, and try to get our hands up and uh just be aware of the ball coming right over our heads. You think you guys did a decent job of that against Fresno? Um uh, not too good of a job. We didn't get too many too many better balls, so coach been talking about that a lot. How have you seen Josh Frazier develop this year, and how has he been able to keep up with that? Uh, Josh is he um one of them older guys that knows the system and like knows knows what to do, so he's really reliable when he gets in the game. How much fun is it playing next to a guy who's six foot seven, whatever it is? Uh, yeah, Rick Coyne, like when I be trying to make a tackle, he be right there with me, so it's uh it's fun knowing that somebody next to you trying to compete compete with you. He's that explosiveness like we saw when he made the sack against uh, Florida State, and you know, just seems to get off the ball really quickly. What's that? Yeah, he uh, for him to move like that and be that big is, is uh, amazing. So he uh, surprised me here and there. You guys have any nicknames for him yet? Hmm? You guys have any nicknames for him yet? Nah, we just call him Ray. You ever played for the, another defensive lineman who was bigger than you? Yeah. Ray Kwan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We seen you guys, uh, particularly you, just running downfield. How much have you improved your conditioning uh, throughout the offseason? Um, during during practice, coach the coaches always tell us just run to the ball. So I think that just carries over into the game, and um, it's been showing up on film. How do you think Isaiah's playing the first two games of the year? Uh, I think he's still trying to trying to improve as as like the games go on. So it's just like the everyday. Every day thing, day by day thing. What do they want you guys to work on this year? Um, just retracing for the deep defensive line wise, retracing while um, when they throw screens and stuff, and um, just get a get more rush for myself front. What does that mean to retrace? Nick brought that up uh, yesterday. You know, what, what does that mean? What, what what's that all? Like when they throwing the ball sideways, is coming out the uh, stack mm -hmm. is a. Uh, Cause like the wire, not the wide receiver, but the DBs, they bring them back inside. So we need to be there to make the plays. Are you ever curious what JK does during practice? <laughs> nah, I know JK be doing his thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know he be doing his own thing. Would you ever spend a practice with him? Oh yeah, I would. <laughs> Get the uh, chilling in the indoor, stretch a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you saying he's got easy? I, he, I mean, he's a good kicker, so. But kicking is different from uh, <laughs> he said he practices tackling once a week. Uh, I don't know how many times he gonna get a chance to do that. Did you see? Uh, him, you, I think you were on the sideline. Uh, Returned that that kick and he almost had an opportunity. To yeah, I seen him. I, JK fast, man. JK fast. I was trying to see what he's gonna do. <laughs> how far do you think you could punt the ball? I can get you a good 30, 40 yards. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you see? I mean, I know you guys are on the sidelines making adjustments, but during the, these two games, what have you seen from your own offense? Um, Like, I just see them just trying to, like, just chill as a unit. Like, last game, they, they did a, a, a great job. They came out real hot and um, just kept that going on the whole game. We, we saw on the sideline after you guys gave up that field goal, Jeremy Pro really was getting after you, Raycon, and some of those guys. What do you remember about that? And what, what, are you, what are you thinking when like one of the coaches is in your face? I mean, it's like just them coaching. They, they always do that stuff. But they were just talking about um, just being physical up front. What does that do for you guys, the defense, when the offense goes out and scores 39 seconds in the lead and you go on the field with a lead on it? 
Uh, it just makes us want to get them the ball again, so since we know they hot, they keep them, keep them rolling. What are some of the challenges you might have seen on Colorado State? Um, I think it's just more of a of of a like a us man. Like we just try to become better as a as a team and try to improve every practice. Nick has talked about the last two games the your offensive lines pass protection issues. I guess when you're going one on ones, what do you see? You know, from a defensive side, and where do you see that that they can maybe and maybe they know already that they can pick it up. Uh, I really don't know. I just um, I know them guys try to get after that practice, so I can't really speak on speak on what uh, they need to do to get better. Pruitt with that exchange, is that something that he does a lot? But, uh, or is that, was that just kind of like a once in a moment thing? Or Oh, no, he get after them every day, so uh, I don't mind if it's just him coaching. Do you like when you see a coach do that kind of stuff? Does it kind of motivate you, or what does it do? I mean, yeah, it always gets everybody uh, going, like trying to do their best, because that's all he wants out of us, just to get the best out of us. Did you see that clip of Nick kind of coming in and then turning around? And yeah. <laughs> who's, who's more animated, Nick Saban or Jeremy Pruitt? Uh, Coach Saban. You, you, you usually know what Coach Saban goes say, but sometimes he'll throw like a little, little joke in there at times. <laughs> What's the best joke he's done in the game situation? Uh, he don't joke in the game. He's like after the game. After the game. Yeah, when we watch the film or something. Is he an intimidating man to y'all? Uh, probably first he was, but... Now I just look at him as a coach, a regular coach. Keith kind of said, you know, when asked if <coughs> how how Nick shows they like you, he says he, he talks with y'all. Yeah. I guess how would you describe a talk with Nick? Um, it's really not talking. It's him talking, you just listening. <laughs> <laughs>